hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you've been here before welcome back so i'm ashley if you haven't been here and i'm a makeup enthusiast who just wants to touch it on play it all and i am not a makeup artist so don't get that twisted uh i just like to play with makeup and if that's what you like then please welcome i welcome you hi um today i'm gonna be talking about like indie shadows things that i think that people need and are so under hyped i mean these big beauty gurus are not talking about any of it and they should be because it is stunningly beautiful everybody needs it if you want good makeup with that being said let's hop right in right in you guys probably have guessed it because i'm like a beaten a dead horse at this point kaleidos yes you can't get this this is the club nebula palette you can't get it anymore however i'm pretty sure you can get the shishimi city and the lunar lavender lunar lavender um these palettes are stunning amusing amute can i not speak english stunning amazing beautiful quality here is some swatches of these shimmery shades like the camera is not even going to pick up the stunningness of these shades i'm not even gonna lie I seriously don't know how some of these beauty brands get the pictures that they get. Yes, are you talking? You're excited too? It gets you excited too. Um, I don't know how these beauty brands get pictures of their shimmers because I can't, I haven't figured that out. But when I do, just know I'm coming for you. I might insert some video of swatches on my daughter's arm. So this is from Shishimi City. like these shades are just everything they have like the smooth creamy texture but yet there's so much depth in the shadow like it's glittery but it's not glittery but it's like wham bam thank you ma'am like whenever i wear kaleidos's shadows i'm not even kidding you on how many compliments i get they're like oh what are you wearing on your eyes oh your shadow is so beautiful that must have been expensive and i'm like I mean, kind of, but not really, like. <laughs> I know you can't get this palette anymore, but let me just swatch a couple for you. I'll even throw in a matte in there. Kaleidos' matte formula is so beautiful. They're amazing quality. They just have one of my favorite formulations. Moving right along, Odin's Eye has one of my other favorite formulas. I yes i kept the outer packaging on because it is one of my favorite formulations and i don't want my sons to get in it and like break up the shadows okay so quality control <laughs> when you got kids you gotta do what you gotta do i want to try so much more from them but the other two big palettes that they have um have glitter in them and i'm not the big i mean i love glitter don't get me wrong i am a glitter fan however i don't like glitter in my palettes if i want to reach for glitter i'm going to reach for something like my lawless biodegradable glitters or like something that's not in the palette it's nice but i chances are i'll just reach for something that i already have not in the palette but their formulation this is pink chameleon talk about one of my favorite of all time favorite favorite shimmery shades like it's not even going to pick up the shift i also love this marbling in amber place it is not really like it's like a sh topper shade but it has like these beautiful um gold and silver flecks like silvery white flecks these shadows feel like silk i'm not even kidding you silk and the mattes feel like butter <laughs> what did you do to him <laughs> I'm trying to like swatch things on the wrong hand anyways so their shimmers are like silk when you feel in there you're like oh this is not gonna have the greatest uh, color payoff however speaking just solely on this palette I have not tried more from them I can't wait to try more from them um but their shimmers are 
so stunning and their mattes blend beautifully at first okay so at first <laughs> i didn't think they were going to be my favorite formulation because this shade right here is like a taupey greeny gray color um i went to blend that on my eye on my eye but because of the i use concealer a lot of times i do use shadow bases but most times i'm just using whatever concealer is going under my eye I used that. I was using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, I believe is what it's called. It made that shadow peel up. It made it patchy. It just, and I was so sad. I was like, I wanted to love this. And then I tried it again with one of my concealers that I use all the time. The Kosas Revealer Concealer. The shadows are stunning. Stunning. However, I do think that that Giorgio Armani Concealer isn't good as an eyeshadow base because every shadow that i put on it it does the same thing it's not just the odin's eye uh, that's a little disclaimer not that anybody really probably cares huh moving right along to one of my favorite favorite brands nomad cosmetics i'm not even kidding you they have the cutest little touches like when you order from them they send you a little um like postal card with like places on the back and they send you a cute little message like thank you so much for ordering da, 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 da. it's so cute I love the personal touches also <laughs> I think that's why it's one of my favorite brands also can we talk about the shadows oh my gosh this one I didn't okay so this shadows the top row is mattes the middle row is satins and then you have shimmers for someone who doesn't like satins, you're probably not going to like it unless you don't care about satins in your crease. The matte formulation, I find that you have to pack them on and then blend them out for the best pay color payoff, but they do pack a punch. The satin shades, again, pack a punch. However, if you don't like satins in your crease, then you're not going to like want to put that in your crease. But I don't care about having a satin in there. These shimmers are worth the entire palette let me just tell you they are worth the entire palette i didn't think it could get much better than this this was the first and only palette that i tried from them then i purchased the iceland fire and ice palette i'm not one to buy a palette unless i know i'm going to get use out of it because i don't just want to waste money and waste the products when someone else could love the palette you know what i'm saying so i don't just buy to buy because i love the brand i buy because i want to use it right so I only tried this one because it called to me but none of their other palettes really like spoke to me i'm not a ready fan and they had this other like anyway they had other ones i just wasn't a huge fan of it then this came out and i went back and forth and i was like oh but do i really use blues very often it has those orangey tones i'm not a huge orangey tone fan and then one day i was just like you know what add to cart checked out and i was like i got it at my house and i swatched it i was like oh my gosh blown away had to put it on my eyeballs and let me tell you i'm not an orange fan but this orange shade right here and this one right here they have changed my mind i am now an orange fan but only for these colors <laughs> only for these two shades also don't mind that i have a ding in here i accidentally jabbed my finger into the shade and then just had to push it back in but they are that creamy that they do that this shade the only shade in this palette that i'm kind of like mm, is this shade right here because it's so sheer i don't know how to swatch i just swatched over the other one uh i don't know how to speak this word or how to say this word so i'm not even gonna try to but this shadow right here is more of like a lid topper but again stunning formulation this one has true mattes in here there's not any really satin shades in this palette which i think is why people really gravitate it towards it you have your specific like shimmer shades in here and then you have your matte shades in here uh nomad actually really does listen to their customers and they get back to you they're very good on interacting with you. They're very good on listening to their customers and what they want, their wants and needs are. And I like that in a brand. I like when a brand can take criticism, constructive criticism, and implement it into their brand because they want to please their customers. 
Um, and a lot of people's problem with the Tokyo palette was that there was satins in there and they literally fixed the problem and came back with it better. They were like, oh, you don't like that? We got you. Boom. Here you go. And we're going to make it better. Um, but yeah, I can't, I could sing praises for them all day long. Moving right along to Shroud Cosmetics. I know this says strobe. Don't mind that. They have changed their name to Shroud. Um, she had a really cute little, like, why she did it um i thought it was cute i don't mind it but anyways so this is one of my all-time favorite pastel palettes all-time favorite along with the tokyo palette i love that it's pastel it's so beautiful but when i'm wanting just like mattes this is where i go the pigmentation this is one of my favorite blushes i use this a lot as a blush these colors for pastels are so pigmented <laughs> don't mind that mine is like falling apart it's older than the hills um but like just look at that color payoff and i'm a light to medium so um i'm like more on the lighter side though of the light to medium spectrum so those shades these shades are so beautiful the only two that i don't really get too many too much use out of it, except for during Halloween time is this gray and this black but this black is one of the most black blacks I've ever seen and the gray is one of the most gray grays I've ever seen moving right along to their it's freaking bats palette I know that they just released a statement that they finished doing all of like the pre-orders or whatever and that they weren't gonna release the palette for a bit um due to something with the packaging but i know that you can buy all shades as singles and there are a few shades in here that i definitely recommend if you are not a blue fan this periwinkle i still think you should pick it up the shimmers in this palette alone i recommend if you are looking for some stunning shimmer shades i'm trying not to swatch over but I still did it, so we're just going to ignore it and pretend it never happened. If you are looking for some stunning shimmers and some amazing quality mattes, this palette is right there. This is up there. This palette specifically. I love their pastel palette, but I mean, I don't use pastels very frequently. When I do, I will gravitate towards that. Now, this palette on its own gives me all the love i use i i can't tell you how many times i've hopped into this palette for the shimmer specifically along with the nomad tokyo palette which i never even swatched some of those so let me like rewind so i'm swatching these bottom three shimmer shades It is not picking up the shiftiness, but like these shimmers, again, they're so smooth and creamy, but the amount of glitter and depth that are in these shades, these metallics, these shimmers are so metallic, like they, I haven't found any like glitter, like as where this has a glitter, these were more of a metallic formulation and they are stunning like some of the most impactful metallics and they do not go on the lid and make your lid look crepey um i find that i'm 29 years I find old. that sometimes putting a metallic on my lid can accentuate like little lines and crepiness or it can look funky and make my eyelid look old these do not do that uh i can pile and pile and pile on them pile and pile and pile pile and pile and pile them and it doesn't seem to do that and i really do recommend shroud cosmetics um i do know their store is closed as of right now um i know they're looking to restock by the end of june and um have their products back out they had a big like with this butte bean and shroud cosmetics um collaboration i know that they had like this big um they weren't ready for it and i you know you can't as a small indie company you can't foresee something like that happening so i get it moving right along to my sydney gray shadows and other shadows <laughs> so i just bought a big old sydney gray shadow or big old sydney grace um 
palette and I put a ton of different shadows in. These are my Sydney Grace shadows. Here are my Twisted Pastels from Touch of Glam, my Terra Moons, my Davina Cosmetics, some more Touch of Glam, and then two Menagerie shades. So let's start off with the Menagerie. These are, I believe they're trifo trifoil shades. These are their trifoil shades. Now, if you're looking for a more chunky formulation, these are where they're at, where it's at. Again, this is the Menagerie trifoil. This is in the shade Bunny and Chickatee. Mm -hmm. I love these shades uh, for when I'm wanting something more on the chunky side. However, um, if you are not cautious, because they're more chunky, they will give you, like I said, that like textured eyelid look. Um, but if you're into that, then totally. So here are some of my Touch Glam glit, uh, these are called the multi something. They are again, along with that chunkier formulation, they have like a grit to them, but they are glittery stunningness. Um, I like them because they are chunkier so when I'm wanting more of a chunkier formulation I either go for the menagerie or those specific shades from the touch of glam that is mistletoe fantasy and mistletoe fantasy and mistress so moving along into my divina cosmetics shades this is her nerds collection it's either nerds or willy wonka something like that i believe it's the willy wonka collection i have a video somewhere reviewing these these shimmers are some of my favorite shimmers of all time this is what introduced me into shimmer into hindi makeup and i've never turned back <laughs> and I don't think I ever will. Um, her shades are so creamy. The shiftiness in them. the And I love the fact that the shiftiness shows up on the lid. Again, I don't know how to work my camera. I probably won't be able to pick up the shiftiness um, in them. But let's just say that they are beautiful and stunning. Let's see if I can try with the mirror. Let's see if the mirror will be my friend. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. Kind of. You're kind of getting it. Um, anyways, so I have nothing like these shades. Um, nothing in my mainstream palettes are like these shades. They are so creamy. They have not really texture. They're more on the metallic side. They do have some glitter sparkly metallic unit or they have some glittery sparkliness but they're more leaning metallic than chunky dimension however i love that because sometimes i want a shift that doesn't have any glitter in it and i just want like the metallic look but i want it to shift when i'm wearing metallicness to it without the glittery because sometimes you don't want glitter you just want the metallic to it Moving along to my Terra Moons. So I only have one matte from Terra Moons. And I just wanted this specific blue. I know I have it in a ton of different palettes, but sometimes you just want it in a single shade. Moving along to some of her Terra Moons shimmers. I'm not going to say all the names of these shadows because we would hear, be here all day long. But Terra Moons has some of the most stunningly beautiful shades I have ever seen. They are not flaky. <laughs> My son just got into them. Okay. And so he made them chunky. <laughs> he made them chunky. They weren't this chunky when I initially got them. But so these are my Terra Moon shades. 
My two favorite of the shifty shades are Phoenix and Light Year. So Phoenix, I don't know if the shift will pick up, and Light Year. Light Year is like this green to yellow to like orangey shift. Green to orange to like yellowy shift. It's like a green to yellow shift and then Phoenix is like an orange to yellowy shift. Super beautiful. Those are two of my favorites. I love the metallic-y shades that they have there. The one matte that I have tried from Terra Moons, I did like it. It was stunning, beautiful. It blended well. It blended well. It worked well with other shades. So out of my single shadows, my top three would be Touch of Glam, the Twisted Pastels, Terra Moons, Davina Cosmetics. I love Sydney Grace shadows all together, all around. Um, we'll get to Sydney Grace. Give me a moment. So we're going to swatch now our Touch of Glam, Twisted Pastel shades again. I don't know how people pick up the shiftiness of the shades. I'm not good at that. I can't figure it out. If you have any suggestions on how I can on camera show the shift, please leave it in the comment. Please, if you have any suggestions on how I can pick it up on camera, leave it in the comment section below because I can't figure out how to get the beautiful shifts on camera. With that being said, these Twisted Pastel shades, the eight that I have are some of my favorite, some of my favorite shades. I love these shifts. My favorite would have to be Lucid Lavender, um, Bora Bora Ain't That Boring, and Strawberry Ice. I also like Peach and Cake. Can you tell that I love them all? <laughs> These, again, are super metallic. They do have that, like, little glitter particles, like the mica in them, which could just give them dimension when they're on the lid. Moving right along to my Sydney Grace. I love the mattes. They are so blendable. My top three matte formulations from Indies would Indie Formulas would have to be Kaleidos, Sydney Grace, and my Nomad Cosmetics. They are all up there with Pat McGrath. I've also tried in my palettes, I'm not sure if Lunar Beauty is indie, I'm pretty sure they are indie, but they have some great formulations. I've only tried the Shari Dream, it's one of my favorite from that brand. So, their formulation all across the board, every shade that I have tried is one of my favorite. So their matte formulation is beautiful. I'm going to swatch a few for you. It's creamy. Even the ones that feel more on the drier like side, they blend amazingly. The shimmer formulation, again, even the ones that are like more on the drier side are just stunning. Like look at these shades. They just give you something so unique, so beautiful. They are one of my top um, all across the board because they just have really great formulations. Um, if you have not, I would definitely recommend checking out some Indie Shadows. Moving right along from Indie Shadows, we're gonna move into products that are Indie based that are not Indie Shadows, but that I think that you should definitely try. So moving right along, back to other things that I think that you should definitely check. Hey, we're not gonna do that. Well, we should. Samuel, we're not gonna do that, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, Odin's Eyes Blush. I love their blush formulation. Unfortunately, I've only tried one. I did only buy a couple items when I purchased from them because I just wanted to kind of try the brand. <sighs> but what I have tried from the brand, I love so much Kaleidos their little charisma contour palettes I have the shade medium I definitely recommend these they are a nice blush oh my gosh you can I'm pretty sure see the pan on this but anyways um it's a nice buildable bronzer 
and I like that. Um, it's not overpowering, you're not going to feel like crazy, it's creamy, it's nice, it's blendable, it blends over a set face and a not set face because sometimes I set my face, sometimes I don't, depends how dry my face is. Um, I did not set my face today because my skin is super dry. If I was to zoom you in, you would definitely see like the crusts all over my face. I have a crink in my neck and here you are making it harder. Okay, so I have the old packaging, but I don't think that they really like did much except for change the packaging. <gasps> no! I don't think they did much except for change the packaging, but all of their like space age uh, highlighters, I, oh, that one just literally fell out. Okay. But all of their Space Age highlighters are my favorite. Um, they all have something a little unique to them. Like this is a purple to blue shift. Um, the red one that fell out is like a white to red shift. Pink. Um, they're all super beautiful and they all have their own uniqueness to them. And they are just something so pretty. They do, some of them I find have some glitter to them. Um, some of them don't so I mean if you mind glitter then you might be taking like a 50 50 chance of glitter I do know that they did reformulate so I'm talking about the old formulation that I have I don't know as far as the new formulation if it has glitter to it but their highlighters are definitely something to check out again I don't know if Lunar Beauty is indie but if they are I like their lashes my favorite lash from them is this is a little is Luna. Luna would be my favorite lash from them. I'm just dropping everything. I'm feeling a little discombobulated if y'all can't tell. Um, my sons are having a day today. Well, they've been having like a month. Let's just say that. they. It's a thing. And um, anyway, this is not what the video's about. Okay. <laughs> Back on track, Ashley. Oh. Deca Scarlet. I don't know if they're indie, but I do know that you should definitely check out their products. The this is like a spray, so I don't know if you, I think it was Dior that had like that spray foundation. This is a spray bronzer, and you cannot make a mistake with it. It is so easy. It doesn't even matter how much you go in with, you can blend it out, you can work it. It it just makes it so seamless and easy to do. Stop, you're messing everything up. <coughs> I've gave you toys. Play with these. And it makes it so easy to do. Some other uh, honorable mentions. Um, Glam Vice is a indie brand. I love their retro liners, water activated liners. I also, Lawless, don't know if they're indie, but their biodegradable glitters are something that you should check out i like that it's biodegradable it's easy to work with but those are some things that i think that are honorable mentions the indie some of them i don't know if they're indie but they are definitely something that i think that everybody should check out and if you are interested in this look uh it should be posted either before maybe after this we'll see and also if you made it this far in the video, please leave me some rainbow emojis. How about that? Um, also, drop some comments down below on anything that you have questions on or things that you're feeling. Have you tried indie brands? Are there any indie brands that I should try? Catch you in the next one. Bye. I almost forgot Odin's Eye Lipsticks. If you have not, check those out because those are super good too.